Yes. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, family and friends. On behalf of Derek and Eric, I know they're happy that you can be here with them on this very special day. This afternoon, we're gathered together in sight of God for a very special and joyous occasion, and that is to witness and bless the joining together in marriage of Derek and Erica. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. If I could ask one of the ladies maybe to take the bride's bouquet. Perfect. And then I'll have the two of you face each other, joining both of each other's hands. And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here this afternoon. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding, because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day, promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things are brought you right here to Valley of Fire, to the very beautiful seven sisters, all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And I know the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Derek, I have a question for you. Do you take Eric to be your wife to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Derek, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I, Derek, take you, Erica, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. Love you today. I will love you tomorrow. Love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Eric, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Then I also have a question for you. Do you take Derek to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live. Then please repeat after me. I, Erica, take you, Derek, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. I do this because I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And now because today is all about love, and I know the two of you wouldn't be here if it wasn't, especially with your family and friends in the middle of the desert, I'd like to do a reading for you from the Corinthians, the chapter of love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always hopes, always trusts, always protects, and always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Yet these three will remain hope, faith, and love, and the greatest of these is love. And now if we can have the wedding rings, please. Perfect. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're a circle, they're the emblem of eternity. 
They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in marriage. Derek, please place Erica's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Erica, I give you this ring. Erica, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my clumsy love. <laughs> <laughs> and as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Erica, please place Derek's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Derek, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder that I have chosen you to be the one to share my life. Perfect. Looks like it's on. Yeah. I'll have the two of you face this way, maybe just hand in hand, if the bride could have her bouquet back to this. Awesome. In just a moment, I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do, I'd like to say a couple of brief things about marriage. There are things that two of you know, but the important part is to keep them in mind. Marriage is being a love for the rest of your life. It's love walking hand in hand with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other, even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's getting over disappointments and small hurts, knowing that these are present from time to time in every relationship. It's a realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with, and certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being a love for the rest of your life. Derek and Erica, you said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by God and your family and friends here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings, so now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Derek, you may kiss your beautiful bride and your new wife. Big round of applause. Thank you. They are married.